blob tool. So we're going to be using the blob tool to put some vectors out here, some vector pathways and points in real time. So instead of like connecting them all and making shapes, another way we could do it is use the blob tool. And for here, I'm just going to choose to fill the area with black. And trust me when I say with all good intentions, that sometimes the blob tool can be a pain in the butt to get black over here okay so one thing that I like to do is have swatches for my initial attack and you notice with swatches it just automatically goes now I don't want the fill I want the outline to be black when I use the blob tool so this is the inside this is the outside Okay, with the blob tool, which is located here, I can now click and do one of these. I can make my brush bigger and smaller. And make tiny ones. Okay, what is this doing, however? So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is make a ginormous one here. Or yeah, because I don't want to make my brushing bigger, it takes too long. And then I'm just going to connect the two forms together using the blob. All right, let's go into outline mode. Well, this is a curve. Now it's one giant curve. This would have been one hard curve to create. There's no doubt about it using the pen tool. Because, let's see, I would have had to have a shape. I would have had to join all the edges, the points. I would have had to smooth some of them out, some of them not. Yeah, this would have been difficult, no doubt about it. So the blob tool has come a long way uh, with Illustrator. It's allowed us to create forms without the headache of creating forms. Okay, just like before, you know, if you want to augment this a little bit, you can zoom out and use the smooth tool, and you can get rid of some of these points. Now, is it bad to have those? No, uh, uh you can have them. It's uh, no big deal. It's just I like to show that you can smooth out things, but being too close to them, it'll start adding so many points that it becomes almost impossible to uh, get it as smooth as you want. Now, erasing. So in real time, let's go to the erase tool. And we can erase into the form. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So if I make it bigger, I can start chunking away at this. Okay, let's see what this looks like here in preview mode. Okay. Very cool. Now, another thing you should know is if you are in the blob tool and I go to blob something out, and if I want to erase it, I can just simply flip my pen over and I can erase it. Again, that is because under Apple, under system preferences, I have the ability in the Wacon tablet to make Illustrator in here. So I hit plus, add illustrator, and it gives me full function over the Wacon tablet and the full use of my pen. All right, that's using the blob tool for drawing and the eraser tool for erasing. Enjoy.